Gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosaria Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring to you today? Today, the topic is called Adult Continuing Education. Learn how to learn. There is an increasing number of adult uh, learners participating uh, in higher education. So what should the institution do to provide them with tools that they need? Today, the studies and findings was, the research was done by uh, Smith in 1983. Habakkuk's articles in Smith will suggest that we can adopt the open uh, door admission in Korea in degree and in certificate programs for adult students. And also, we can expand the course uh, through to time schedules such as in evening classes, weekend classes, and off-campus location. Also, can provide remedial education, skill workshops, childcare, transportation, and also alternative learning learning modes, financial aid, career, and personal counseling. We can also provide like providing peer group uh, teaching sections as peer support groups and individual re-entry experiences and also work with the faculty attunes them uh, to the needs of the adult audience. And in return, the adults um, should be able to know how to use the institution and also to uh, should be able to know how to assess and to understood and to um, improve themselves as learners and also they should be able to use, uh, to learn uh, in any situation for example structure class small groups and also alone today um, I will bring you these new topics today please if you don't understand you can book me through with the link below I give you awesome advices and suggestions for what you need for your profession and your organizations and also please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos as I bring you new topics every week so that you will not miss anything isn't it good okay let's go back to the topic again today I'm going to divide this topic into four parts. The first one is the presence uh, of an the presence of an authority figure. Does it matter? The second one is self direction learning, and the second one is self organized learn, uh, learners, and final one is the learning stars. All right, first one, the presence of an authority uh, authority figure. Does it matter? So most popular form of adult learning is circulated. Uh, to around the collaborative uh, learning process, peer teaching, action learning, and self-direction learning. So some adults, they prefer to have the presence of the authority figure so as to validate the academic legitimizing of what is said. These adults suggest by Smith, uh, uh, normally they are unable to work with others and also they cannot um, uh, get used to or adapt the uh, collaborative learning mode and also could be they oriented mainly towards the independent study. So in general, the subject matters, the subject authority uh, wish to um, fulfill their teaching role by which they perceive as very important, for, for example, presenting to um, explain to illustrating the subject matter, very important. So the rest, it is up to the uh, learners themselves to respond to or to uh, work hard and depend on their, themselves in order to achieve the best result. And, the, and also the collaborative peer learning process could be a good example that leads to uh, the follow-up uh, formal teaching section, as suggested by Smith. So second one is self-direction. What do you mean by self-direction? Mm. Self-direction is a fundamental part of helping adults to enhance 
and, uh, and expand their learning skills. So how to facilitate and uh, enhance people towards self-direction learning? What are the perspectives? So to help learner, um, is the, the book suggested to, first one is to help the learner to have develop greater control of their own uh, skills. And the second one is con to continue to provide the reinforcement of a positive image of a students and also third one to give encouragement of self-reliance generally and to work the issue of how to take responsibility of one emotional uh, field and take emotional control and responsibility of oneself in the world while dealing with any particular skills. So to evolve in self-direction learning, a person should um, evolve in the whole person dimension to self manage development. So self-direction learning is not the interpretation of global terms. What do you mean by interpretation of global terms? The global term interpretation is only focused on the external structure, whereas self-direction learning is focused on a person's specific skills and also focused on external structure and internal structure. For example, internal structures, the context of decision making, the learning skills, and the handling of the um, transition. For example, the external uh, structures, the the um, services, and also the materials that provided the address or make reference in support of the learning experiences. Okay. Third one, self. Organized learners. What do you mean by self-organized learners? Okay, it is very important to know the how the procedure for enhancing awareness and development of your own specific skills. And also, normally the um, learners take conscious control of the process. For example, how to interact with the um, other learners and how to interact with the resources and how to use techniques such as ad hoc charts formal um, lectures section or open forums and also uh, know how to entice by a, a newly gained skills for giving personal re uh, relevance of these learning experiences also individuals uh, know how to judge and ask for support during the critical time and ask for guidance finally learning styles isn't a good final one now what are the learning styles and what do you mean by learning styles? Okay, the study was done by Price in his articles in Smith's book suggested learning styles are uh, involved in the uh, structure and uh, direct experiences and also involved in the cross affiliation with the instructors. Price also suggests that the counselors use the learning styles information to determine and to decide which students do best in the groups, which students is not highly motivated, and which students have difficulty in persisting. Also, learning styles help to determine how students prefer to have their educational, their personal and career information presented to them. Okay, let's finish from uh, this topic. And for awesome advices and suggestions, please put me through the link below as I will bring you awesome insights into what you need for your profession and your organization. And also please subscribe to my channel and like my video as I bring you new topics every week, every Monday. Isn't it good? And so that you will not miss anything. Okay, back to conclusion today. What have we learned? Today, we learned that in higher education, the adult learners learn how to use tools of critical thinking through institution. Also today we learn an authority uh, figure could be useful for some people. And also we learn an authority figure can, uh, person can promote independent studies can, and the learners rely much on this person for knowledge. Also we learn it is best to set up a class of adult learners who share and use knowledge collaboratively and critically and um, after a formal session of lecture. A fully grown adult should be able to use self-direction learning and self-organization learning towards their field of study. Also, we learn self-direction and self-organization learning styles 
need the um, facilitators to uh, enhance the knowledge acquisition in order to achieve the best result. So a counsellor um, relies on the learning styles information to determine which students do best in the group and which students not highly motivated and which students have difficulty in persisting. Also, we learned that today the learning styles it, uh, help the counsellors to um, you know, to know how to present and the personal and career information and uh, to the favor of the students. That's all for my topic today. Please tune in every week for new um, ideas and new insights into adult education. And also, please do subscribe and like my video. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Until next time, and stay safe and goodbye.